there, it's Angela of grassfedmama.com where we talk about things that are all low carb, keto, healthy mama friendly. And today I'm gonna to be talking about a little bit of like keto troubleshooting. If you have struggled with the keto lifestyle before and you wanna start or you've been thinking about starting the keto lifestyle and you maybe have heard from your friends or families about how they had some trouble, I wanna talk about some troubleshooting and how you can get results with the keto diet and the keto lifestyle. Let's dive in. Also today I am working in my office doing some editing and I'm sipping on this keto latte. It is so good. It is sweetened with allulose, which is a new keto sweetener that I am really excited about. There's a lot of benefits of allulose and none of the bad stuff that you get with some of the other keto sweeteners. Um, and so anyways, I'm going to put that link in the description below so you can check that out. I had somebody reach out that they were like, I tried keto, but I was hungry all the time. Typically when I see this, it's because they just focused on the carbs. Um, and that is a big part of keto is lowering the carbs, but another factor is adding the healthy fats. So that's gonna help you stay full and burning and moving into fat burning mode. But I want you to know that being hungry all the time uh, is if, if you're doing intermittent fasting right and you're doing keto right, the biggest sign is that your hunger is reduced. And I know that was the biggest sign for me is that I used to feel like I had to eat every two to three hours. I was just hungry all the time when I was not eating keto. And so whenever I started eating keto and I really focused on what I was eating that was full of healthy fats, I realized that I was not hungry all the time anymore. So really we need to look at what you're eating, are you eating enough fat? Are you filling up with fiber from your vegetables and the protein and then uh, and then your body will eventually go into fat burning mode and then your hunger will be reduced. And so it really is a sign that are you following it correctly is if you're not hungry all the time. So if you are hungry all the time and this is not just the first week, like this is long term, then we may need to make some adjustments. One thing I wanna do is help you avoid the keto flu, which for me typically only lasted about the first three days while I was transitioning into fat burning mode. Um, and so sometimes that might be body aches, um, the you know, headaches, things like that. The way that you can stay on tra track and fight through the keto flu, really number one is focus on those healthy fats because that's what your body is going to be trying to switch from burning carbs as energy to burning fat as fuel. And so if you can fill up on the healthy fats um, and help your body transition, that's really really helpful. The other thing is to stay hydrated because um, burning carbs takes up a lot of energy. So whenever you stop or reduce your carbs drastically, your body kind of flushes out the extra water, but that also means that you're losing more natural electrolytes so that you want to replenish those. You can drink electrolytes. You can also just make sure that you're getting um, salt or um, potassium, the different minerals that you may be losing. And so that's something that you might want to be aware of but first off just stay hydrated because um, that helps your body adjust to everything because sometimes the keto flu symptoms is really that we're we're losing that water weight initially and our body is trying to figure out like how are we you know transitioning and so anyways it, you can make it through um, I would say stick with it even if you don't feel great the first three days it doesn't last forever and then the benefits on the other side are worth it one common thing that I hear a lot from people who are starting keto is so many cravings that they can't stick to it. So first off, I want to say sometimes you just have to fight through the cravings. You may need extra support to help you get through because as you are transitioning from burning carbs as fat to burning fat, as fuel, your body sometimes wants to resist because it's not used to it and it takes more effort to burn fat because it's having to pull it out of your reserves, whereas the carbs, it's just gonna burn it quickly. So sometimes we have to just say, I know what's best and I'm gonna stick to it and you're gonna have to have some willpower. Um, but if your cravings last longer than the first two weeks or so, then I would say we need to look into that. And one thing that, I, that really helped me is adding extra fat. So look at the food list and thinking about how you can add more healthy fat. Now, sometimes that's adding a salad dressing to your salad and making sure that you're cooking with healthy fats. Like whenever you're cooking broccoli, you're cooking something, add in those healthy fats. And so a lot of times 
the healthy fats that I'm eating are combined with other food. So it's not, I don't feel like I'm eating like a stick of butter. Um, and so thinking about how can you add healthy fats? And when you do that, you're also boosting the nutrients because sometimes our cravings are a result that we are lacking some nutrient. And so make sure that you're focusing on nutrient dense foods when you are eating and then um, drinking water because sometimes our body misinterprets and it says you're hungry when you're really thirsty. So make sure that you're drinking Drinking that water, focus on nutrient dense food, focus on filling it up with fat, and then you should get through those cravings. And a pro tip that I have learned if you really want to boost your fat burning is to implement a fasted exercise. Now I keep it really low key, really simple, and I just try to get a fasted walk in in the morning, go on um, between 30 to 50 minute walk. Um, and so that's something where I actually, I take the kids with me. So as a busy mom, it's something that I've been trying to implement into our day as a family. But that's something that you can, cause you're still in fat burning mode that you can really you tip, dip into those fat reserves. So that's something that if you're not doing yet, like I said, low key, low stress, get outside, get some vitamin D. Um, and so that's something that I would recommend if you're really trying to boost your fat loss with the intermittent fasting plus keto, adding in that fasted exercise, fasted movement. And if you're not losing weight as fast as you thought, or you feel like I'm doing everything right and I hit a plateau, there are some things that I want to help you think about because sometimes we have to get healthy to lose weight. And we want it to be the other way around. We want to lose weight to get healthy, but sometimes our bodies just doesn't work that way. So that's why we are focusing on different key health metrics to help you see the whole body, the whole picture, because sometimes our body isn't quite ready to let go of those few pounds. I know I felt that whenever I was nursing and really struggling to lose weight and I was just like my body's not ready to get rid of these fat reserves yet and so sometimes we have to get healthy to lose weight and so our body and our our journey may look different from somebody else and I don't want you to get discouraged if you see that I want you to focus on improving your overall health we're adding in nutrient dense foods with our healthy fats with our protein with our vegetables we're help, we're focusing on healing our body through intermittent fasting and so when you're thinking about overall key metrics, think about are my cravings reduced? Do I have better energy? Am I sleeping better? Is my brain fog lifted? Um, so thinking about all of that as a whole, as well as losing weight. And so I just wanted to let you know that uh, we're here to support you and we wanna help you get the best results, but we also wanna help you get healthy too. And I believe that this pathway, keto plus intermittent fasting is the pathway to overall health as well.